Hey folks, Fernando doing another video for Tomorrow Survival. It's based on some of the replies I got from some of my previous videos regarding magazines, keeping a, a round or two out of them and such. Lots of replies about, ah, that's bullshit, nothing happens. Magazines, you can leave them fully loaded for a hundred years, nothing happens. I thought it would be a good idea to get rid of some of these myths, go to the source and see what people that actually manufacture magazine springs have to say this is the website from wolf if you're not familiar wolf is one of the largest manufacturers of springs uh, for uh, firearms in the world the website is gunsprings.com so what is it that, that gunsprings.com have to say here's one of their frequently asked questions how often should i change magazine springs should i unload my magazines rotate magazines load with fewer than the maximum rounds and the reply is the following. Magazine springs and semi-auto pistols are one of the most critical springs and are the subject of much debate and concern. Yes, that is, that is true. Lots of different opinions. It goes on. It says, and this is pretty important. This is critical. Magazines which are kept fully loaded for long periods of time, such as in law enforcement and personal and home defense applications, will generally be subject to more fatigue than the weekend shooter magazine springs in which the magazines are loaded up only when shooting. This immediately gets rid of one of these uh, popular myths about springs only suffering fatigue when loading and unloading. I've read that a bunch of times. When you load and unload the magazine spring, that's going to be uh, a lot worse or it fatigues. Yes, there is a minimal amount of of where in the material when you load and unload but what Wolf is explaining is that it damages more the spring when you actually keep it compressed for a very long period of time. Now I'll add to that this, yes modern magazines such as like a, a Glock magazine you can keep that compressed for years it's gonna be working but it is also true what is being said here that as time goes by when the magazine is fully compressed it will be uh, suffering a lot more, it, it will be subject to more fatigue than if you just keep it unloaded or just load it uh, for any, any trip to the, to the range. And it goes on explaining this, magazine design and capacity also affect the longevity of the spring. In many older pistol designs, maximum capacity was not always the goal, such as with the 7-round 1911 Colt magazines. Will last for years fully loaded. So it's a typical story. Yes, I found my uncle's 1911 from Second World War and years later it was just perfectly fine. Yes, most magazines will be perfectly fine many years down the road, but it's also true that they will suffer fatigue when kept fully loaded that doesn't mean that's not, not going to be working but also that older magazine designs that are not stretching the capabilities as much will take that a lot better there was more there was room for more spring material in these guns which reduces the overall stress and increases the usable life of the spring goes on to say more recent high capacity magazines have become popular these are designed to hold more rounds with less spring material often in the same space this puts more stress on the spring and will cause it to fatigue at a faster rate doesn't say that it's not going to be working it's just saying that it's going to be causing it to fatigue at a faster rate and loading these magazines around or two, which is what I was explaining in some of the in the previous video. And loading these magazines around or two will help the life of the spring. Rotating fully loaded magazines will also help the problem somewhat, but it's not always practical. Okay, so it's not that, that your Glock magazine is not going to be working five years. 10 or, or whatever there is just um, an increased amount of fatigue as it's kept fully loaded now also understand this this is basic science in terms of materials and compression there is going to be a period of time in which that spring is not going to be working how many years hard to say it's going to be depending on a number of number of factors but that spring being fully compressed eventually it will lose so much strength that it will not function adequately how many years it is very hard to say and there's different it takes on that with some of the older guns designs i've heard people that found out that their magazine was not 
basically working at all or had constant malfunctions because that spring had compressed. But get rid of this myth, this idea that it's only cycles. There is plenty of evidence that even with a brand new magazine, you, you, you have the magazine measured when, when out of the box. You load that magazine and you measure that a month later, you will see an inelastic, a plastic deformation of that magazine, meaning it's not coming back to its full length. Doesn't mean that it's not gonna be working right, even years down the road. But as time goes by, when kept fully compressed, it will fatigue more. In applications where the magazine must be kept loaded at all times, a high quality magazine spring such as Wolf Extra Power magazines, of course, will prove, uh, provide maximum life. Regular and finally, the last bit of, of tip there, regular replacement of magazine springs will provide the best defense against failure from weak magazine springs. Regular shooting of the springs is the best way to be sure the springs are still functioning reliably. And that is actually very good advice. Folks, I hope you enjoyed this little video, getting rid of some of these myths, fantasies about, yes, when it's fully compressed, that's okay, when you do this or that, no. This is the reality as being told by the guys actually making springs for magazines. Have an awesome day, see you next time.